want to know how to get car count for free? And look, stop. I mean absolutely free. And this isn't clickbait or some crazy scam. But if you're serious about your auto repair shop, you're going to buckle up because we're starting right now. Hey, welcome back to Car Count Hackers. My name's Matthew. I'm the official Car Count Hacker. And if you're a repair shop owner and you want to grow your car count, income and profits, go ahead and smash that subscriber button, ring the bell icon. That way you'll know every time I upload new information. So I told you that there was an opportunity for you to get car count for free. And not only am I going to tell you about this because I'm a practitioner of everything that I talk about, I'm going to show you how this worked perfectly for a subscriber here on YouTube at Car Count Hackers. On a recent video, I had a comment from William who said that he had just placed an ad in a local newspaper and the newspaper contacted him back if he was interested in supplying any content or anything like that for their readers. Because of course, the job of the newspaper is to keep their readers engaged and give them the information that they want. The problem that William had stated was that he wasn't quite sure of the wording and how to do it. So I produced a video that walks you through everything. Now I'm going to link that video up here and I'm going to put it in the end card. So I urge you to listen to this video first before you go ahead and jump into that. Because when you watch both of these videos, you're going to have the complete system, the complete toolkit to go ahead and get yourself free car count. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. There's a little bit of work involved, but it's dead simple. Stick with me and I'll show you everything. Now, to be 100% transparent, when I got this message and saw it on my channel, I went ahead and reached out to William and said, hey, is there a good time we could talk? And we did have a conversation and I give him some tips and tricks. But that's in that other video that's important for you to watch. But you got to see the whole thing and how it unravels. First of all, since that, uh, William went ahead and followed the details in that video. And truth be told, take that other video, transcribe it, and you're going to be on your way too. It's not going to cost you a nickel. But when William sent that information to the newspaper, he got a response and shared that with me. The response was from the editor, Dorothy said, Hi again, I've read your write-up and find absolutely nothing wrong with it. I give you an A plus and send you to the top of the class. Thanks a lot, Dorothy. William, good job. Perfect. You've executed this perfectly. And since then, I've also had some communication back and forth with William, and he's told me there have been two calls from that simple article. What was the article? Again, I'll link that at the end of this video. But here's something that you can do because you're sitting there saying, well, Matthew, he had somebody reach out to him. So here's what I want to do. I want to give you the complete toolkit because you can do this to every local newspaper. You can do this anywhere that is in your market where, let's face it, they're looking for content. They've got to fill pages, whether it be, you know, pages online or in a printed newspaper. So this is critical. And why I jumped on this so, so quickly is when I expressed this to William in our phone conversation, I said, look, don't, don't tell anybody this. This isn't the point of what I'm trying to do. But when you appear in that newspaper, you now brand yourself as an authority. You must be an authority. The newspaper wouldn't put any article in there or any information so, from some two-bit hack. You now become an authority. And the real sneaky thing, and this is more to a mindset than anything else, the people reading that now see you as an authority. And it's almost as if that newspaper, or whether it be a blog or anything else, has endorsed you. 
There's not anything saying that they do endorse you, but think about it. You're there in that newspaper. The newspaper wouldn't do it if they didn't believe in what you were saying. So go ahead. Now, before you jump and watch that last video, I need to tell you how you can take any newspaper or any media in your market and get a foot in the door. Is this a guarantee that you're going to get them to pick up your article? Absolutely not. The closer they are to the community and helping people with helpful information in the community, the better chance you have. So I wouldn't be looking for national blogs that are all over, you know, going all over the place because it's not going to do you any good. What will work extremely well, make you the authority and virtually a celebrity in your community is when you're dealing with local media. And that could be TV stations, radio stations, and newspapers. So let's jump into this. How do you get your name in front of them? It's pretty simple. So now it's time to pick up a pad and pen and just basically take notes or transcribe exactly what I'm about to tell you. Start out with a simple letter. It should be on your company letterhead. If not, plain letter will do and address the editor by their full name. And if the publication lists any letters after their name, include them too. Then you go on to say, my name is Joe Smith. For the last X number of years, I've owned and operated ABC Auto Repair. I'm an ASC certified technician or whatever other credentials you have will help right there. Think of it as a short bio of you. Then in that cover letter, you want to go on and say, the most common question I get from customers is how can I save money on auto service and repairs? That would be a pretty common question, wouldn't it? It just makes sense. Then the short letter goes on to say, for that reason, I wanted to share this information in hopes that it can help your readers. There's nothing greedy about that. You're just putting out information saying, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Newspaper, this might help your readers. You think you've got their attention? I guarantee you do. You just wrap up that simple letter by saying, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me directly at and give them your email address, your cell phone number direct. They want to talk to you. They don't have time to play games. So go ahead and do that, and you'll be in the same boat as William, getting free card count from credible sources, and you're now instantly become the authority in your community. Now, if you still want more information, I gotta share this with you. I've just released my brand new training course, how to double your car count in 89 days without wasting any of your hard earned dollars on that money sucking advertising. I show you the three pillars of car count. It's really the only three ways you're gonna get car count in today's economy. I share the car count cube. It's the four steps that you need to verify. It's the formula, if you will, so that every time you invest uh, any money in advertising, promotion, or anything for your repair shop, every dime is gonna work like a dollar. I show you my entire profits customer referral system to get you more new customers in a month than most auto repair shops see in a year. Then we talk about factor 52. I show you the importance of customer reviews and how to manipulate them to your best advantage. So right now, go in the links below at uh, double your car count and go ahead and get signed up because it's not gonna be free for long. And if you're still watching this video, head over here and look at this video about free tools that's not covered in the course but free tools that you can use right now today in order to improve the visibility of your website. I'm Matthew Lee, the Car Count Fixer. Can't wait to see you on the training course. Take care and talk soon.